Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Split with me, Fujit. Hello. Now, the other day I released a video on basically some basic strats and alternative strats on canal. And one of the comments, yes I do read the comments in my YouTube chats, was from somebody called Joshua. He asked a question that I felt really needed to be answered. Basically, he asked about reading lineups because he has heard others talk about it, but no one has really ever explained it. And you know what? He's totally correct. Many of us mention it, yet no one really explains what it all means or how even to put any of that into practice. So in this video, we're going to look at exactly that. Now look, there are some maps like Rockfield, Port Bay and Mines where it's normally pretty obvious where everyone's going to go regardless of what tank type they have because they all do the same old strats time after time after time with little to no variation but what you may not truly know is that all maps start with a basic premise now like all games Blitz uses numerous algorithms the most obvious being MM whereby there's an algorithm that tries to allocate, allocate balance teams based on class of tank and the tier, <laughs> yeah, not win rate, <laughs> which everybody thinks it does. But one algorithm that is often overlooked is the one that dictates the spawn points of the tanks. Because believe it or not, there is indeed an algorithm that deals with that on each and every map. Now, what I intend to do, I intend to look at two maps, Mayan Ruins and Winter Malinovka so we can get a better understanding of what reading lineups actually means and how you can put that into practice and what you can see from the very start of the game. So without any further ado, let's jump over and have a look at Mayan Ruins. So this is Mayan Ruins, we're overlooking it here in Stratsketch. So what can we expect from the very start of the game? Well, the algorithm will kick in and the tanks will spawn in various locations. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna start looking at the south spawn first. This is the south spawn down here. And we'll look at where do the mediums and the lights spawn. Well, the mediums and the lights spawn here. Always spawn there. What about the heavies? Well, the heavies spawn here. And they always spawn there. What about the TDs? Well, you get TDs sometimes spawning here and some spawn here. Okay, but they're always at the back. Now, what does that tell us? Well, basically that tells us that when the game was developed, when this map was developed, they had something in mind called medium route, heavy route. And the heavy route on this map is actually along here. That is the heavy route. That's the heavy route there from this spawn point. And the medium route is basically that way, okay? With the TDs able to support either there or there. Pretty straightforward stuff. What about the other spawn? So we'll jump over into the other spawn. Where do the mediums and the lights spawn? Well, they spawn here. What about the heavies? They spawn here. And what about the TDs? Well, the TDs generally spawn there and there. Why is that? Well, again, we have a light route and we have the heavy route and we have the TDs either supporting that way or that way. So that is what the developers had in mind when they developed the map. They had two distinct routes, a heavy route and a light route. And if you notice, they don't really spawn you to overlook this area. So how can we put this in to practice. Well, let's jump into a game here on Mayan Ruins and let's see what, what, what we can do when we're looking at those lineups. So here we are in a game on Mayan Ruins. I'm in a 57 Heavy and as you can see, I have spawned where I showed you we would spawn along with the oak. Now I'm just gonna stop it there. Now, I can see that they've got two TDs. They've got a 183 and they've got a Jaegeru. They have got a medium, type 61. They have got a Yo, an IS-8, and an IS-7. All heavies, and they've got another medium, which is the Progetto. So how does that then correspond to what we saw on the map 
Okay, so remember those tanks. In fact, I'm going to leave them up so you can see them. And we're going to go back. I'm going to put the map over the top so you can try and see. So here's the map again. And what we've got on the other spawn, we've got two TDs. So where are they going to be? Well, they're going to spawn either. They're going to spawn there and there. Okay, and I don't know which one's which. It's either going to be the FV or it's going to be the Jaegeru over there. What about their mediums? Well, the mediums are going to spawn here. And their heavies, they're going to spawn there. So what can we expect? Well, I can expect their two mediums to rush round to there. That's what I can expect. I can expect their TDs to come to this position here. Okay. I can expect their heavies to go that way and that way. And I can expect they're going to have support from a TD as well. So I know that their forces are going to be split. So, what about our forces? Well, I've spawned here. That's where I spawned. And we've got mediums and lights there. And we've got TDs here and here. So, what am I going to do? I'm not interested in the rest of my team. What am I going to do? So, what do you think I'm going to do on this map? Well, first and foremost, I'm in a heavy. So, strictly speaking, strictly speaking, I should be going either that way or that way, but I'm not going to do that because I think we are going to have better success around here because they've only got two mediums. So I'm going to take my little T57 Heavy and I'm going to go down here to this middle spot. Why am I doing that? Well, for two reasons. <coughs> One, I can get shots across there quite easily. And if worse comes to the worst, you can get shots that way. Plus, it also gives me movement around. Now, I'm anticipating, anticipating that they are going to send their mediums here. They're going to send their TDs here. And they're going to send their heavies here. That means there are four tanks for grabs here. Four. If we're lucky. And if I've read it correctly. Okay. And me going to this position here gives me a lot of alternatives. So that's how I'm reading the lineup. Okay, so let's see if that works, actually works in practice. So let's see if that works in practice, as I said. So here I'm going down to that route whereby it's the middle of the map. I'm not going down the heavy route, I'm not going down the medium route, I'm going to the middle of the map. And if I'm right, and now I'm not saying that this is going to happen in every single game, guys, but if I'm right, we're going to get some trade here. And when I say trade, I'm talking about the two, and there they are, Type 61 and the Progetto. Exactly where we thought they would be. And if we look on the other side of the map, oh look, there's their yo. So the heavies are going down the heavy route, their mediums are going down their medium route. So, so far, we have predicted exactly where they're going to be. And this is a good thing for us. Now, oh look, there's a Yeageru. So again, so far our prediction is coming true. We know where their mediums are. We know where some of their heavies are. And now we know where at least one of their TDs are. So that's how I'm reading the map, guys. It's, it's, it's not that difficult, it's not that straightforward. It's just trying to work out where they're gonna be going. And that's all we're doing here. That's all we're doing. We're trying to anticipate what movements the enemy are going to make on the map. And as you can see, from that basic understanding, we've been able to formulate our plan. We've been able to anticipate where that tanks are going to be and we've been able, therefore, to address the battle in accordance with our overall look. And there's the there's the FV up the top. He's gone down the... And look, there's the IS-7. So the heavies went the way that we expected them to go. And now it's four against six. We've got rid of their mediums, so they've lost their mobility. We've got rid of one of their big TD. In fact, their better TD of the two. There's an IS-8 over there in the corner doing... God knows what, and that's their, their heavy. So we now know where all their tanks are. And, you know, had we uh, 
you know, this game gets a lot closer than, than it looks. But had the team been a little bit more switched on to these lineups, then this game would have been a lot quicker than we thought, and a lot easier. As it is, we do win. Um, oh, look, the F of E's over there now. Uh, but but this is what I'm trying to say. You know, you've got to look at the lineups of the tanks, and you've got to try and anticipate way, where they're going to go. And once you've anticipated that, once you've understood that, believe me, that's half the battle. Okay, that really is half the battle. And this is why you see some of the pro players and some of the uh, super duper unicorns getting upset because they know where teams are going to end up going, and they get upset because you know the players go in completely the opposite direction, and they say, oh, well, you know, where are you going? And that's a fundamental flaw in in players just reading the lineups. To be honest with you, it's like you see players always, especially the better players, they always expect, for example, on Port Bay, a medium or a light to go over into that far corner opposite the sea cap. And when they don't do that, they get upset. And there's a reason that happens. They get upset because it's expected. Because how are you going to get the spots? How are you going to get the cross shots? And it's the same with a lot of the maps. And as you can see, we, we, you know, we end up winning this game. Okay, it's not a whitewash, but we end up winning the game and we end up doing relatively well and I'm happy with that game. So we do relatively well in that game. We do 3000 damage, we destroy two tanks, we block 800, we get a second class and we damage five. Do we get any decent credits? Uh, not really because, well, not really. And you know, we weren't top damage, the 50B was because he played particularly well. And we won that game even though we were a tank down. So. That's looking at it from a heavy perspective here on Mayan Ruins. What about if we go into a medium? So here I am back on Mayan Ruins. This time I'm in an E50M, a medium tank. And look where I've spawned. I've spawned exactly where I said the algorithm is going to stick me. And let's, let's just get up high so you can see. Look, there's a Progetto. There are the two TDs at the back. There's another TD over this side. And there are our two heavies. And that is exactly how you will spawn each and every time here on Mayan Ruins. You will always spawn on this map, on this side of the map, with the mediums down there, the TDs at the back, and the heavies over there. And pretty much the same on the other side. So that's the map. Now there's their lineup. They've got two heavy tanks, 60 TP. Well, they've got three heavy tanks. They've got the 60 TP, the E100, and the T57 heavy. They have got two TDs. They've got the FV183 and the Object 263. They've got two mediums, the 121 and the 907. So what can we expect? Let's get the strat sketch back up and running and let's see what we can expect from this side of the map. Here's map scratch sketch. Where are we? Well, we're spawning on the south spawn and we're spawning in the medium position. So we are here. We have a TD here and here. We have another TD here and we have our heavies there. What about the others? Well, no doubt their two mediums are there. One of their TDs is going to be there. One of their TDs is going to be there. And their heavies are going to be here. So what can we expect? Well, again, we can expect their heavies to push around like this or possibly up to here. We can expect their mediums to go there. We can expect their TD to go around here. This is what we're looking at. And I'm expecting their other TD to follow their heavies. So what am I gonna do? I'm intending with this AM, with this uh, 50B, I'm gonna push around probably to around here. And therefore, we can take out their mediums here. So that's, the basic game plan. That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting their mediums to be down with support from a TD and I'm expecting their heavies to go to the heavy route like pretty much like we saw in the last map. Now is it going to work out that way? Well let's find out. So here we are. We are going to uh, head towards the medium route. I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm going to go slightly to the middle why? Because I'm in a 50M and I like this tank and it's got a great turret, okay, and it's got a good mobility and it's got a pretty spanking gun. So 
I'm going to head up and I'm going to go over the bridge, so to speak. That gives me a little bit of positioning. Okay, it gives me some cover. It allows me to use the turret. Now, already we can see that WZ is there. Behind me, you will see in a moment a 907. There's the object 268, and there is also a 60TP. There's the 907, there are the medium, and so far nothing has surprised me. We have, we have absolutely not been shocked or surprised by anything that this team has done at this moment in time. The WZ and the two mediums went exactly where I thought they would go, and I can already see that there's a TD and a heavy exactly where I thought they would be. So what we're going to do now, we're going to push down onto the 121 because he's isolated. Oh look, there's the other TD. So we can push onto him in a moment. That's the FV. And we're catching them out because we already kind of knew where they were going to be. They don't need camo to, 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 to do this. I mean, you know, we have a rough idea where their tanks are going to be. So we've already taken out their two mediums. Their mobility has gone. They've still got their three heavies and their two TDs. That's the 268 rushing down, but we're gonna, sorry, 263. We're gonna try and take out the 183. We're not going to, but the grill behind me will finish them off. There you go. And there you see, look, there's their 57 heavy. And there's their 263, and down he goes. And over in the corner, you've got their uh, E100 and their 60 TP together. Their 57 heavy is completely isolated. We got this information just from reading the initial lineup in the countdown for the battle. That's where we got this information. We haven't done anything special or spectacular. We haven't sat down and drawn amazing plans and strategies. We read the lineup and we knew that with the tanks that they had, they were going in a certain direction and they were gonna do a certain thing. And they didn't disappoint. And this is the thing about reading these map lineups, guys. You know, it's it, it's crucial. It's absolutely crucial. So is reading the mini map. That is also crucial because that also gives you amazing information. So when you're looking at the map, when when we're saying read the lineup, this is exactly what we mean. Anticipate by looking at their tanks where you think they're going to go. Now. I always knew that this team that we just fought against is very heavy loaded, so they're going to go the heavy route. They're not going to go down into the mediums, but their mediums are always going to be isolated. And it would have been better for the mediums not to have been isolated. It's that straightforward. And we do pretty okay there. I mean, it's okay. I'm in an E50M, so I'm only going to get a, uh, a second class. But I'm still happy with that. We still rolled out. We did a good turn of damage. And, you know, we've got a second class for that. And I'm, I'm happy with that, and I'll take that every single day of the week. In fact, we're top damage. That's even better. So that is what we're talking about when we're saying, look at these lineups. Now we're going to jump into Winter Malinovka, and let's see what we can see there. So here we are in Winter Malinovka, and as you can see, we've spawned on the South Spawn. But how does that work in real life? Now... Let's have a look at their lineup. They've got um, they've got three heavies, 60 TP and E100 and a Conqueror. Now oh, Andy Yo, so they've got four heavies. They've got three TDs. They haven't got any medium tanks at all. None, none at all. But and we have we've got the standard B. So we've got one medium, four heavies, two TDs. They've got three TDs and four heavies. So how does that relate onto the map? So, let's get up Winter Malinovka. So this is Winter Malinovka, and we're actually spawning in the south spawn, down here. Okay, so let's put us in. So again, the algorithm kicks in. All your heavy tanks will spawn here. Your TDs will spawn around here, and your mediums and lights will spawn there. If we flip over to the other side, the north spawn, then your heavies will spawn here, your TDs will spawn here, and your mediums and lights will spawn there. And again, what is this telling us? Well, it's telling us from this side, that's the heavy route. This is the medium route, and the TDs can, should be supporting there and there. From the north spawn, that's the heavy route, that's the medium route, and the TD should be supporting there and there. That is what they're sewing. Now, 
that team have got absolutely no mediums. So let's just drop all that off. What can I expect from that team? Well, I can expect their heavies to go to this position here. I'm expecting their heavies to be concentrated there. Okay, I'm expecting their TDs to be sat here. And that is exactly what I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating nothing else. I'm not anticipating anybody going down here. I'm expecting nothing down there. So if that is the case, what should we be doing here? Okay, so what I think we should do is our standard B, our standard B should, in theory, be coming from his spawn here and he should be trying to get these spots here. Okay, and the heavies, we should push to this position, this position, and possibly this position with our TDs, our TDs should be sat either here or here to give us support. That's what I'm expecting, okay? Now let's see if that actually works in real life. As I said, they've got absolutely no mediums at all. So let's see if it pans out what we saw on Strat Sketch. And I'm gonna add into the position that I said I was gonna to head to, which is up to that northern position. Let me just stop it there a minute. Where I'm going, I want to get up to, I don't want to be here. Okay, here is a nightmare. I want to be in this area. Okay, that's where I want to be. And the reason I want to be in this area is because it gives me a little bit of cover and it gives me views down to that TD spot, which is going to be there. And it gives me views onto this area if they decide to push and it gives me views onto the cap. So that's where I'm looking to get to with the lineup that they've got. And I'm in the IS-7, which is a great tank, and I've got a review on the tank. I've got a, 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 an in-depth video on the IS-7 coming out soon. But that's what I'm after here. I'm after that. And already we go, there's the Fosh. So we've already seen the Fosh. And I'm gonna get to my position. There's the Conqueror. So we've seen, we've seen their tanks already. We know where their TD is. We know, oh, that's a dreadful shot. <laughs> so we know where their tanks are already. Oh, look, there's the FV. So at the moment, this team has not surprised me. This team has done exactly what I thought this team would do. And it's just my shots are not doing exactly what I thought they would do. And there you go. Look. I mean, you've got the, the Yo has gone absolutely the other direction along with the E100. They've gone to the middle-ish area. And you can see that from the middle map. They've gone to the, 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 the cap. But what they don't realize, they are under massive pressure now, this team. They're under huge pressure. And there's literally nothing they can really do. They're, they're going to be swamped over this. It's it's that straightforward. And I apologize for my absolute inability and nabbishness at the beginning of this game. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was fast and furious and I had ping issues, uh, to be honest with you. But excuses, excuses, excuses. So, you know, we've already taken out two of their tanks. We've taken out, you know, they've only got TDs and heavies. So we've taken out three now. We've taken out two heavies and a TD. Look, there's the Waffle Tractor. Looks like they've not surprised me. And again, we were able to, to take map control before this game even started, to be honest with you. All because we kind of knew where the enemy was going to go. And that is a big thing. If you know where they're going to be, if you kind of anticipate what they're going to be doing, as I said, that's, that's half the battle, guys. It really is. And again, this is why you see some of the better players getting frustrated when the team go off in completely random directions and they, they, they suddenly go, have you not read their lineup? And that's why players get upset because players don't read the lineup. Um, simple as that. Now, this is a whitewash. It's 7-0 um, at this moment in time. I don't know if the FV is going to actually kill anything. Um, all because... Oh, no. I'm a rack to finish. All because we happened to read the lineup we understood where they were going to go and that is a big thing and it's a massive deal and if you can understand that now i'm not going to say it's going to work each and every time it doesn't but if you can understand it and if you can employ it into practice believe me you know you, you, half the battle is already over 
before you even roll out. It really, really is like that. Let's have a look at a medium game now on Winter Malinovka. So here we are again on Winter Malinovka. This time we're in a medium. We're on the south spawn yet again. And we've got their lineup up on the map. So let's get the map in and let's see what we can expect. So as I said, where are they going to be spawning? So if we have a look at what they've got, they've got an AMX-50B. He's going to spawn. And they've got a T95E6. So they're going to spawn here. Okay, their, their two TDs are going to spawn around here. And their mediums and lights are going to spawn here. Simple as that. What about us? Where are we going to spawn? Well, you can see where we've spawned. We've spawned here in our mediums. We've also got heavies who are going to spawn there. And we've got TDs that are spawning here. So what is my overall game plan? Now, a lot of people like to rush into this area here. I don't. What I'm going to do... I want to go around this area because it gives me some capability. And what am I expecting there? Well, I'm expecting their lights and their mediums to come down here like this. Okay, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting their heavy to go over there and I'm expecting a TD to pre about maybe around there and possibly around there, roughly. So what I want to do, me personally, I want to push into here. I want to engage their mediums around here whilst having cover and then I want to be able to carry on my push around to there or up there that's what my game plan is just from reading this lineup so let's see how that translates into the actual game because it may not translate that well but let's have a look so here we are in the E50M again, and we're going to go down, not up, we're going to go down the medium route. But where normally people would tail off into that A cap area, I'm going to carry on going. I'm going to put a shot over there just in case there is a T100 out T trying to get those early spots. I've not been spotted, so that's telling me that maybe there's nothing there. But, but, yes, there is. There's the WZ, and there's the T100 out T. So we've already found their light and their medium. Okay, now they've got one light, one medium, and we found both of them. They've got three heavies and three TDs. So they're going to be around supporting them somewhere, you would think. However, we're going to continue giving these tanks a bit of a hard time. Now, as you can see, I've got some decent support here. You know, I've, I've even got an FV. So these two tanks are really in trouble. They are in a world of trouble. And there's not much they can do about it. They've got their TD at the back where I expected their TDs to be. But we are going to be able to put a lot of pressure on them. The WZ, well, it's very brave of him, but he's not going to last that battle. And now the LT is out on his own. They've got no heavy support at all. Their two heavies are just not there. And you can see from the minimap that one of their heavies is pushing into our spawn. And their TDs are at the base and their other heavy is right at the back near their spawn so these two little tanks this medium and light we've got rid of their mobility their mobility and their spotting ability is gone and they've also lost a td the wz11 gft is gone you can see that amx 50b is in the spawn why he's in the spawn is beyond me but he's in the spawn so instead of me pushing round like i said i was going to i'm now going to go back to our spawn why because there's a 50b there and he's on his own he's isolated he has absolutely no support whatsoever and this is how you start to read those teams and already they've been whittled down and already this is our game there's no way that they can win this realistically i don't think and all we've got to do now is weather the storm and carry on whittling them down you know we've got plenty of hit points to take on this 50b we'll give them a ram and then the standard b will finish them off they've got the T95 left along with the FV. The FV is down at the bottom of the dip. The T95 is just there near the ramp. So what we're going to do, we're going to push round and we're going to try and finish them off. And that's the game. It's not a whitewash. It's not a 7 miller, but it's near as damn it. All from reading the map. All from reading the lineup. And that is how reading the lineup can translate and be put into practice to make you and give you a slight upper hand when the game starts because that's what it's all about guys you know give yourself the opportunities and as i said 
knowing or trying to understand where the team is going to be, the enemy team is going to go, will give you a massive advantage. It's half the battle. And again, we win, we do 3,000 damage, we knock out 930, we only take one kill, but we won the game. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. That's really what counts, is winning the game. Get another second class, and I'm happy with that. You know, two relatively nice games on uh, Mayan Ruins, two relatively nice games on Winter Malinovka, all because we were able to anticipate where they were going and we read the lineup. Anyway, I've been Fujit. I hope you found that useful and I hope, Joshua, that answers your question. By all means, comment and everything below. That's been my take on reading the lineups, what, they, what it's all about and how it can actually help you and how you can put it into practice. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.